Commuters and minibus operators share their opinions about the Barbies bridge toll in this report. A few minibus operators and residents have disclosed their views on the Barbies bridge toll and the prospective 55% hike that could occur. They also commented on the $300 reduction that was slated to have taken effect on September 1st, but this has not been achieved as yet. People are calling for the pressure because they see right now the government bringing boats to them, put you under pressure, and it's a big pressure. You know, but if you do three months, you want to die off, it ain't bad, you know. You know, she comes to come to my you know what I mean? If the, the boat start work, how pressure you are going to feel here? Well, man, if the boat start working at a cheaper cost and the passengers start using the boat, definitely the bus is here, but one thing the penalty, you understand? Because the park is right here, and then at the front, this is telling, so the boat will be right there, you know what I mean? So you feel they should drop the price? Yeah, they feel, yeah, they're appropriate, yeah, because, you know, majority of people using the bridge, and then the bridge toll is very high, and then, you know, you gotta, the fear got to be suitable to the passengers, you know? The long you feel supposed to drop because they're more than the people, and I think the government should have introduced something more cheap for the people, because I hear they're asking for 55% increase. That bridge don't make money, that bridge don't make a couple billion dollars a year, but they don't make I get to understand they're bringing a boat. How you feel about it? I feel the boat was got at the government. You use the board that report. And what about the driver at the 56 route? Well, the driver of the 56 route will run back down because they're overcharging the people. A shot drop, they're charging the people because they're paying the charge. I mean, bridge. So the people pay to worry I'm going from and they will pay the $100. Because you've got to catch a bus from and it's telling to get another $100 extra. So when you have a 360 to 800, that will be a So the bridge fare, it's supposed to drop the bridge fare. You say about 1200, I'll be trying to do that. But so far, nothing done. Eh? Yes. Yeah. Now, if you check the car that we used to pay last time, we return fare from the Sudan to the Boca, about 800 something dollars. So how do you end up getting 2200 dollars? People want big money. I can't understand if you people want big money. You get it to a, the dearest bridge in the entire world. We have it more. And the MRR bridge is $100 for a bridge. And it's making profit. So we have paid 20 to a city in the country. Something wrong, something? The government should have investigated for the money that I'm going to do. NISB, I pay NISB, so we'll get me to pay for the bridge. NISB is not getting dividend for the bridge. It's a profit. And I understand they said that it was $1.5 billion last year. That means people say, I'll give you a paper, $1.5 billion, that means you want to do this out. What maintenance am I doing? Each ship pass, they're going to pay nearly $100,000. Something really wrong. Well, the bridge toll is $100. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're willing to do a thing for the passenger, but what can we do, right? We're taking, we paying 2200 to cross the bridge, and we're taking 300 passengers. 2200 by, by 50, 40 passengers is going to be 4200 right? When we make a trip, we're making, when we complete the trip, take out the expense and everything, we're making 4000 4, When we take out 2500 to give to the bus, for the bus, we're left with 1500 Sometimes it's so long enough only to make one trip. Can 15 or all mine a family? Don't tell me, I don't think so. So I think the bridge fee need to drop. See your problem with it. Uh, so you want the price to be just or you want it to reduce? Whatever from benefit the people in. 
Well, how you feel now? I mean, passenger and as a bus owner. Well, actually, the toll in reduce as yet. Um, I'm only government and the British company then come to an agreement. But um, we don't like to have, you know, problems with the government or with the company or within the public. So whatever, you know, is going to benefit the people, we would more than welcome it. And we are here to, you know, we are here to provide a service for the, for the public. And, uh, we are not, you know, selfish to just, you know, exploit anybody. If the bridge can reduce the toll and passengers can be able to travel less, we are, you know, able, we are willing to comply and to reduce our fear. It depends on how the bridge is reduced. The newly appointed APNU AFC government in their presentation of the 2050 national budget had included among the 21 items listed on their 100-day action plan to have the Burbies Bridge toll reduced from $2,200 to $1,900. This, the government stated, was supposed to be phase one in a period of incremental reductions in the crossing fare. To date, however, the toll still remains at $2,200, while the government continues talks with the bridge company over a suitable resolution of the issue. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.